It's good to see you. It's always good to see your guys' faces. You know that? My favorite people to see after practice. You you weren't all that happy to see us. You kind of shut us down a little bit. It's because it was, the, you know, COVID-19. And, you know, there was a lot of things going on. That's why my... I was going to say, you've got a different attitude about us or just opening no, it up. A, it's a great day to be a Bronco, you know. That's why. It's a great day. Gary, you were named to the top 100 yesterday. What did that mean to you to get some peer recognition? Um, it's, it's an honor, for sure. Um, I worked extremely hard to get to this point in my career. Um, I'm very thankful that they picked me in 82, you know, best player in the league. Um, and my goal is just continue to get better day in and day out. Um, but I couldn't get there without my teammates and this wonderful organization and all that they've done for me, um, giving me, you know, put me in scenarios that, you know, best fits of the player that I am. Um, you know, Dalton next to me, helping me along the way with, with Kush and, and Graham and, you know, Bobby and Calvin, all those guys. Um, so I'm very thankful to all those um, guys in the O-line room, Coach Munchak, um, extremely grateful for him and, and what he's done for me. Um, you know, the sky's the limit for me. Um, I have all the pieces around me to make me successful. Um, and it just makes my job on Sundays that much easier. Does it a little more that it wasn't the media who picks that? It's guys you're playing against or playing with? Absolutely. Um, like I said, it's an honor. You know, when the players choose you, the, the players know who the best is. Um, and I couldn't, you know, be thankful for all those guys that, that voted me as high as that is. Um, you know, it's, it's my first time there. And, you know, I hopefully be there many more times. But I love this game of football. I love what it what it does for you. Um, I love all the guys I go against, um, my competition. Um, and, you know, like I said, my mission is to be the best. So if I have to, you know, to get there, I have to go against the best. And, you know, you get that recognition, um, you know, by, you know, clawing, biting, doing whatever you can in the trenches. So um, it's an honor again. How much, does, how much credit does maybe your wife get? I know you talked about doing sets with her in your, in your living room and things like that. How much credit does she get for that? Uh, my beautiful wife, Natalie, does a lot, man. She uh, She's an angel. Um, I love her dearly. Um, you know, we're a companionship, and companionship works together. Um, and so whatever she, whatever I need, she helps me with. Um, she's a phenomenal mother, um, taking care of my children while I'm doing my job here. Look, man, I, I have the best job in the world, man. And to play football and to get paid doing it and, you know, have a, a wonderful wife at home that takes care of everything else, um, I couldn't be more happier. Is this an offensive line that can be an impose your will kind of group? And in other words, even if the other guy knows what's coming, you guys can just basically line up and ram it down their throats? For sure. Like I said earlier, um, we want our identity. Our identity is, to, you know, when guys turn on the tape, they're like, oh, let's be like the Broncos. Let's be like them. Um, and that's that's what I want my you know our room to be. Um, I want to do everything I can to be that leader um, in that room and to come off the ball. And you know I have Dalton on my right of me, and I got Kush, and I got Graham, and I got Bobby or Calvin. Um, and those those guys to the right of me are extremely you know physical players. And so we got to do whatever we can. You know our tone is to you know put guys in the dirt and push them off the ball and, and make room for our running backs to hit the holes like they did this past on Saturday. And um, definitely. You know, our quarterbacks to feel comfortable back there. So when we're moving guys around in the pocket and they can step up and hit our playmakers like Judy when he took off, caught the ball and cruised down the sideline, I mean, that's who we are. Um, and we just got to continue to build on that game, you know, finish these next two preseason games out on and then continue just to stack games as we go through the season. What's the most about Moody as he enters year two? Uh, Moody's been Moody, man. Um, you know, he's a big, strong guy. Um, you know, them Polynesians, they just have some – you know, girth to them around, um, and they just want to get nasty. Um, Moody's a phenomenal football player. Um, he's going to be here for a very long time. He gives us, you know, a different look at, you know, the right guard position or the left guard position. Um, he's a guy that can, you know, can plug and play depending on, you know, if Dalton goes down or Graham goes down, you know, hopefully that never happens. But if it does, I know um, I feel safe having Moody next to me. Um, and, you know, he's, he's done a phenomenal job with the way he's grown as a player, um, as a person. He feels more confident. Um, and, you know, he's just going to get better and better every day. And I'm looking forward to his career. You guys have been uh, expressed confidence and support of your quarterbacks. But what was the feeling in the locker room right home when they actually went out there and showed it against the Vikings? They did the way they have to do. Um, you know, Drew made phenomenal throws. Just, well, but we all knew Drew had amazing arms. So, you know, when he gets comfortable back there, I know he's worked extremely hard with, you know, Peyton Manning and, and the guys that he needed um, and his special coaches in this offseason. And Teddy's been Teddy. I mean, that dude's phenomenal. The way he, you know, 
we went to dinner and he was telling me how his mind works in the backfield. It was, it was very impressive of, of his reads and how he goes through his reads and, and how comfortable he feels back there. So um, they're both good friends. They're both battling it out. Um, and like I said, I think we can win with either one of them. Um, and it's up to whoever they want, you know, to separate themselves. And hopefully these next two games we find out who our starter is. Sideline, and what did you think of Javante's first game? Kind of ran through a few people there. Man, we drafted him for a reason, man. He's he's a phenomenal athlete. Um, you know, when you watch his college highlights and the way he moves, um, the way he lowers his shoulder and bounces off, you know, when he scored that touchdown, um, it was very impressive. Um, you know, he's he just hits the hole and, and does what he needs to do. So when we have backs like that, like Melvin, um, you know, Royce and all those guys that we have, you know, we have a very talented running back room. And it starts with those three guys and, and trickles down to the rest of them. So it makes my job a hell of a lot easier when when I can uh, hit, you know, push guys out the ball and they can wait and be patient and hit a hole. So and I just look there and a the smile and we go score points. And so I'm, I'm very grateful for all those guys in that room. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you, guys.